Hi, this is Mark Gaylor, Adobe Photoshop Ambassador for the Asia Pacific region here. And we're going to discuss or uh, feature my top 20 all time favorite uh, tips and techniques for when working in Photoshop CC. OK, so here's uh, top tip number four. This follows on from our top tip number three, where we looked at uh, Photoshop's actions and the way we can fast track and automate our workflows. Uh, if we return to the filter menu here, you can see that I've got something below um, this uh, other group of filters, I've got this thing called Imaginomic Portrait. Now this doesn't ship with Photoshop, this is a plugin, which means I've purchased this plugin and installed it and I can use it as a very sophisticated workflow um, filter. Now this one is called Imaginomic Portrait, so let's just uh, click on that and see what we can do. Well, just before I'm going to do that, however, I'm going to convert this layer for smart filters. And that was really top tip number three. Sorry, it's top tip number Number one, so let's not uh, let's not undo the good that we did in that uh, top tip, and we'll return to the filter and choose Imaginomic Portrait. Okay, now let's zoom in to 50%. This is a very sophisticated uh, filter, as you can see from all of the controls we've got over here. Having said that, it only uh, concentrates on doing one thing, and that is to smooth skin. It uh, um, looks for the dominant uh, skin hue and then softens that. Now I'm just using a preset here. Uh, this preset ships with Imaginomic, but you can create your own. I'll just click and drag this uh, portrait into view. Now the before and after you're looking at here, there's no difference, but you watch the difference as I let go of my mouse button and you can see instantly smooth skin uh, without me doing any of those fine uh, tuned adjustments using the sliders on the left, left panel there. And uh, because I converted uh, my layer into a smart object, when I click OK, this is applied as a smart filter. Now because the wall color is a little bit similar to the skin color, it's also softened that. You'll notice it's not done any softening to the, uh, the fabric that the woman is wearing here because it really only looks for the dominant skin hues. But because we have um, on this uh, smart object layer, we have a mask, we can um, limit the um, uh, softening to a more precise area. So I'm just going to invert that mask. I'm going to go Command I on a Mac, Control I on a PC, and that hides that uh, filter. Now I can simply go in with a brush I'll select B for brush. I'll select white as the foreground color. So I'll just press X to switch the foreground and background colors there. Now, rather than working at 50%, I'll just use the scrubby slider to, oops, to push that up to 100%. And then uh, I don't need to be accurate because all I need to do is go over the skin. Uh, I don't have to um, uh, shield the eyes or nose or lips from this because they are a different uh, hue color and the filter or the plugin has taken care of that for me. So that's a very quick um, adjustment. And if I wanted to go back and fine tune any of those adjustments from the plugin, because I applied this as a smart uh, filter, all I need to do is just double click on the name of the filter and I can fine tune any of those adjustments. So again, it's a very non-destructive way of applying an effect to Photoshop. Now, um, if you were looking at uh, doing this manually, you'd possibly be using the frequency separation uh, workflow and uh, anybody who knows that workflow will probably understand I've just saved myself uh, 10 or 15 minutes um, work with that um, couple of clicks there using that plugin feature.